log into AWS Management Console and click on CloudWatch Service. To create a CloudWatch event, click on Events. Click on Get Started. As a step 1, we need to create a CloudWatch event rule. Under the Event Source section, we need to choose it will be an event pattern or event schedule. As discussed, if it is an event pattern, we need to define the pattern when the event has to be created from the specified existing AWS resources. And when we use schedule, we can mention the cron expression stating that when the event has to be generated at a fixed interval basis. For now, let me show you how to create event pattern stating that if the EC instance state has been turned into a stop mode that has to be considered as an event and notified to the SNS topics. Hence, first we need to choose the service name from the drop down. Select the service name as EC2. Then we need to choose the event type. Select the event type as EC2 instance state change notification. Then click on specific states. Since we are Considering the event only when the EC2 instance is turned into stopped mode. Hence, select the state from the drop down as stopped. Scroll down. And we need to specify this particular EC2 instance state change has to be monitored for the, all the resources or a specific EC2 instance. Since I need to enable the event for the specific EC2 instance, select specific instance ID so that CloudWatch event will start monitoring this specific EC2 instance state change and if the state has been changed to the stopped mode then that will be considered as an event and that will be reported to the target. Hence we need to add a target. Click on add target. Specify the target type as SNS. Then select the SNS topic from the drop down. Let me choose the SNS topic from the drop down. CPU topic has been created in the previous lectures. If required, even we can create your own SNS topic stating that this topic will be receiving the alerts if the EC2 instance state has been turned into the stopped mode. For now, let me choose the SNS topic. Scroll down and click on configure details. Specify the CloudWatch event rule name. Then click on create rule. Now the CloudWatch event rule has been successfully created and now it is enabled. If the instance is turned into a stop mode, it will start sending the event notification to the specified SNS topic. Hence, let me go back to the EC2 dashboard. In order to test if the CloudWatch event is monitoring this EC2 instance state changes and notifying to the SNS topic, let me turn this EC2 instance into a stop mode. Hence, let me go back to Actions. Click on stop. Now I see that the instance has been turned into a stop mode. As per the CloudWatch event settings, the CloudWatch event will be reporting this specific event to the SNS topic. Hence, let me go to my email inbox. I see that I have received an email from the SNS stating that there is a EC2 state change notification and it is mentioned that the instance ID and the state is currently stopped. This is explaining how to create CloudWatch event to monitor AWS resources and if the AWS resources are reporting any event, that event will be reported to the specified event targets. I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.